Our time of confession comes from Second Chronicles chapter 1, verses 7 to 12. That night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon answered, You have shown great kindness to David my father and have made me king in his place. Now, Lord God, let your promise to my father David be confirmed, for you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me wisdom and knowledge that I may lead this people, for who is able to govern this great people of yours? God said to Solomon, Since this is your heart's desire, and you have not asked for wealth, possessions, or honor, nor for the death of your enemies, and since you have not asked for a long life, but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I have made you king, therefore wisdom and knowledge will be given to you, and I will also give you wealth possessions and honor, such as no king who was before you ever had, and none will ever, none after you will ever have. Let us pray. Father in heaven, this morning, <clears throat> as we sit here during these difficult and confusing and troubling times, we confess that we have not always looked to you nor truly asked for wisdom. But that sometimes, unlike Solomon, we simply try to go our own way, unlike Solomon in this story. Lord, we pray, please forgive us for simply trying to live in our own strength, and in our own whatever passes for wisdom within us. Lord, please, help us instead, O oh God, to genuinely seek your face and to ask for your wisdom as we lead these lives that you have given us. We know, O oh God, that it is your heart's desire to give us every good and perfect gift. And we know, O oh God, that you have already given us your Son, Jesus Christ, and that you have already indeed given us your Holy Spirit to live within us, and that you have already given us the Scriptures which are useful for teaching and all kinds of edifying. And Lord, we know, O oh God, that you have given us yourself by adopting us as your sons and daughters. And so, Lord, in the face of all this generosity, we gratefully and humbly ask you now for wisdom. if we have walked in our own ways in the past. Forgive us and help us to turn. May we be as wise as you would make us be. In Jesus' name, amen. God's desire, brothers and sisters, is indeed to give us every good and perfect gift just like when Solomon asked God for wisdom and God was pleased, so pleased in fact that he gave him so much more as well, so too God longs to give us wisdom that we may live lives that honor him. Let us sing or let us, let us hum along and contemplate what a friend, what a privilege, excuse me, what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer.